Hey, so we'll go through a weekly roundup uh, today at the end of the week. We'll try to do this every week uh, so we can kind of have a look at where we are uh, in the space, zoom out, look at the bigger time frame and higher time frame stuff to give us high conviction with where we might end up um, and obviously have a look at some of the major altcoins um, moving into next week as well. So obviously it goes without saying that should, uh, should Bitcoin hang around these levels uh, and hold support, I would say a really nice area would be around here or even moving into sort of like grinding up into 60, then we can continue to see all coins flourish. Um, and the big move is this week, uh, like AVAX, um, you know, might be able to continue to run, uh, but look that for that to be a good environment for alts to flourish. Should we dump down to the next support level and move down um, and test some lower regions, expect all coins to fall harder than Bitcoin. Great, so let's get that out of the way. So, essentially, this week's close is actually pretty important, more important than the last few weeks, because we are now actually potentially closing um, beneath a key area, um, which would be the 60k level. For me, I have to draw a line in the sand and a line in a line in the sand somewhere to basically give me an indication of what things are going to, how things are going to be looking into next week. And for me, if we close below. If we close where we're at at the minute, it's not ideal. I would like to see us close about above, uh, in and around the 60 level. 60 to 61 would be really nice if we can get weekly close tonight because that would indicate to me that we're holding this region of support. Um, and essentially, we can, uh, if we hold this, we can essentially, you know, maybe move sideways and just uh, hold that region um, if we can close above 60. If we don't close above 60 and we close really below 59, that's a line in the sand where I have to say, okay, maybe we can test lower prices. And the two main um, two main areas for me to look out for here are gonna be uh, 53 and 48, should we get there. So this, let me just get rid of my uh, gray background. If we call this support one, okay, is what I'll be looking out for. And these are potential scenarios, should we um, should we wanna drop lower moving into next week, okay? Essentially the way that, like I said, that I'm looking at it, if we can fit a uh, close above 60, great, I'll be expecting some upside and maybe a grind higher, okay? If we do close a little bit lower today uh, and we close around the 59 uh, or below, then I would expect some sort of test of this region at least, okay? Uh, and potentially a move down to the next level, okay? Another thing to consider is the weekly EMA uh, 21, which is somewhere where we like to hold support in bull markets. Uh, is also coming up in and around this area, this trend line. So really this is a key area to watch out for, for any major dump moving into next week. Um, so I think potentially at the minute, should stay, things stay the, the way they are, um, I would say there's a reasonable chance that we can maybe push to some lower levels. Uh, and test those. So that's pretty much that. Uh, that would be my worst case scenario moving into next week. And then maybe we are basically just following in some channels, following this big channel, sorry, over here on BTC. And you can see at the minute where we sort of struggled a little bit to get rid of, uh, to, to, to kind of close at the minute, just above the, the, the 60 region. Because if you look before over here, just look left and you can see multiple times before we've struggled to um, you know, get above 60 when we're trying to get back above it after we've come below it. Okay, so something to look out for. Um, and yeah, that's basically what I look out for there. Um, <clears throat> other majors, uh, ETH, pretty much the sim similar similar um, sort of flow as Bitcoin. I think this grinds higher, should Bitcoin stay higher? Um, and then we can continue to essentially continue up through this uptrend. Any major levels to look out for over here? Um, should we drop lower would be the 33 uh, to 3400 area. I think we get some nice support here, big support coming in here. Um, anything lower than that would be around the 3000 level. Should we get there? Um, so yeah, uh, another thing to note, just a quick one back on BTC in terms of just like corrections and where we're at at the moment. Obviously, so far we've dropped 19%, which would be sufficient sort of correction. Um, but you know, it, it's, it's not uncommon to get um, you know, 25% pullbacks uh, in all of these, you know, basically whilst we're uptrending. So just something to look out for, right? You know, this is like par for the course. So, you know, we can we can definitely drop down uh, potentially um, 
23, 24% will put us about the 53,000. Actually, we get to the 48. If we get there, that would mark a 50, a 30% a correction. So something to look out for. ETH obviously tends to be a little bit more volatile with the corrections. So I think uh, looking back here, these corrections typically are somewhere between 25 to 38%. Um, and that would also put us in that region uh, over here of uh, 33 to 3,000. Should we get that low? Maybe create a little bit of panic, you know, break some, uh, break some, break some trend lines. Uh, but you can kind of see what's happened before is that when you do draw trend lines, you'd have to be careful because at this point, obviously, when we were drawing trend lines, uh, when you'd have been drawing it over here and you had this touch point over here, okay, and here, and we kind of broke it down a little bit and we, we broke through, um, then, you know, that kind of causes a little bit of panic and they sort of swing it back up. So just something to be aware of that we can kind of go uh, below uh, this this current uh, trend of su 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 support over here where we might be able to dip down like I said into those regions but just something to look out for uh, for the time being so yeah and that's th those are the major areas there ADA what I'd be looking out for is essentially a break above this trend line we did get a big fake out up over here um, where we got a big push up and then a massive dump back down from uh, 240 down to 170 so uh, that is the trend line I'd be looking at should we uh, make any big move to the upside. Uh, any any move lower, I'm basically looking at this big weekly support block um, of 150, I think provides really, really nice support. It might even be really nice to come down and test that as support. Um, I'm not sure we get down here into the dollar region. That's probably a little bit far, in my opinion, for ADA. Um, but uh, yeah, and ADA, I think, also holding still holding, still clinging on to 3,000 sats as, uh, as support, which I was looking at potential area for reversal, but not holding my breath for that. Um, BNB, um, currently double top formation for the, at least the short term. Um, should we drop any level lower than 500? I'm looking at um, key, area, key area of um, support coming in at 435 around this cluster over here. Okay, and these uh, these 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 sort of pivot pivot zones of um, of support to come in um, uh, as 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 the next level really should we get there and that would mark a thirty eight percent correction from the top if we get somewhere into that region. So yes, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Um, dot. Um, should we break these lows? I wouldn't be surprised for us to come in and test these regions over here. So you can see essentially that 32 33 dollar region where we've got multiple support touches over here okay if we fell down below there maybe we can come and test the 28 dollar region where we've got big support coming in over here so these are just regions to look out for of course if btc is um holding above 60k then i expect further upside if not expect these further downside targets are something to look out for currently actually btc is actually looking like it's um pulling back a little bit um, as we speak. So yeah, and another thing here, last thing, is I think this also coincides with uh, the 38, uh, 38.2 Fib uh, from this move from bottom to top, so something to, something to watch out for. I'm not sure if we can coincide anything over here. Not too much that I can deduce there. But yeah, this major move here, if you look at the, 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 the big picture and zoom out, and that's what we can expect there. Um, Shorter term for us to actually break really nicely into the 60 uh, 60k region is we probably want to break back to look at my sound on the, this is on the shorter time frames. This would be quite nice if we can get this sort of head and shoulders going. Any failure of this pattern down to test these regions, I would expect us to break lower. So, something to look out for, and it's pretty much what I would be looking out for um, on the shorter time frames there. AVAX obviously looking super, super strong and it is um, made an enormous move. I think it's almost doubled in price this month. So for me, this would be, um, if you're holding AVAX, I'd be taking profits and moving them probably into Bitcoin. That is what I'd be doing at this point because if you look at AVAX BTC as well, pretty, uh, pretty strong moves up here. We've sort of closed above these 
um, above these, uh, you know, 11,000 sats around this around this zone over here. Um, but if I was holding AVAX with the sort of move that it's made, it's made a 15x since July, <laughs> um, which is pretty crazy. Um, sorry, US, US, USD value. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, I, I wouldn't be entering anything with AVAX if I was a holder. I'd be taking profits. Other than that, just look for maybe potential support areas if we come down. If we get down there, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we do get uh, some sort of pullback from here to you know maybe the uh, seventy, eighty dollar region. Um, on that XRP, essentially just been chilling for ages in and around the zone. Um, any break of these lows, look for us to maybe test these support areas over here. So that would be at around the 70 cent mark. Um, that would be totally fine and still within, you know, pretty healthy in my opinion. Uh, would be happy to add XRP if you're looking to trade this stuff uh, around this zone. But um, I think really just focusing depends on sort of where BTC is at at the minute. Link, just uptrending. Um, and just basically following this channel. Nothing really else to sort of say about Link. Um, any downside targets, just look for weekly support to sort of kick in at around $15 if we go down that low, uh, but more than likely we would get uh, some strong support here at around $22. Um, and I think those are really the main ones to look out for. So yeah, uh, essentially let's see where BTC closes here. Uh, for me, this is the big play um, and the main thing to be looking out for. Can we get above 60? If not, um, then maybe potentially look at the 53. At this uh, also swing the pivot high over here and this uh, this sort of region over here as, as a potential test. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's see where I'm moving into tomorrow and I'll catch you in the next one.